Today we're going to be doing intermediate. I'm going to show you traditional grip and I'm going to show you. This is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Beat. Hi, my name is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to Beyond the Beat. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to do a flamicue. The flamicue is yet another flam rudiment, as you can tell by the name. Uh, it's a very interesting flam rudiment because it's very different from the flam paradiddles and the flam accents. Basically, what stands, what makes the flamicue stand out is the single accent that you'll see located on the E uh, if you're counting along the notes. You'll also notice that the pattern is linear, which means that you're basically playing a single stroke roll after the flam. And then finally, it ends with a flam, the same flam that you started with. So this is a one-sided rudiment, so you're going to have to learn how to do it right-handed, and you're going to have to learn how to do it left-handed. It's pretty simple, but it will take you a little bit to get that accent in the right spot. So I'm going to walk you through this slowly. Now, it's important, like I said before, that you hit that accent in the right spot. It's not so much that you hit it in the right spot, it's that you actually accent the note properly. Um, in this particular rudiment, the flams are not accented. You have to actually play them qu as quiet as you would play the unaccented notes in the rest of the rudiment. It's the one note, the E, that has to really stand out. So, first of all, the first thing you might want to do is just start by learning how to or work on playing flams quietly, kind of like this. I'll give you a demonstration. Here is a really quiet flam. And then here's a loud flam. Now they're the same flam, but one's quieter and one's louder. If you're looking at the PDF, you'll see that it's the second hit, the E, which is the accented note. Now, basically what that means is, if you're starting the flam, a uh, proper flam, the hand that you're leading with is going to be the one that is up high. Like you should know that already because you should know how to do a flam by now. Now remember, this is supposed to be quieter than a regular flam. It's supposed to be even with all the other notes beside the accent. So what you want to do, here's a little tip. This is what you want to do. You want to try doing a quiet accent. And then you want to follow it up with a dominant or a very, very loud second hit with the opposite hand that you hit with. So it goes like this. Very quietly and then very loud. Now, practice this a few times. Really make sure you can articulate this. A nice quiet flam followed by a really loud uh, uh, second hit or uh, opposite hand. Once you're comfortable with that, then you can start adding the other hits. Now, remember, this is a single stroke pattern. It's linear. So it's just whatever hand you're leading with. So, for instance, if you're leading with your right, it's just right, left, right, left. And then follow that up with the flam at the very end. So it'll be like this. All I did there was right, left, right, left, right. So the, the first right and the last right are flammed. And just make sure that the second flam, the one that's at the end, is also as quiet as the one that you played at the beginning. So here's a demonstration, and I'll repeat it. So mimic the same procedure that you used for whatever hand that you started with uh, to do the opposite hand. Remember, to you want to practice playing a quiet flam followed up by a really loud accent. And you want to be in control with this. So once you get comfortable with that, you can start working on alternating them. Now, it doesn't like, they're not combined together when you alternate them. You do it once with your right hand, then you do it once with your left hand, and then you just keep repeating the process. And you want to try to maybe do it in beat as well. The way it's written in the PDF, I have it written out in the 16th note. So it would be like one E and a two. Obviously the two would be the second flam. So you'd start the next one on three. So it would be like one E and a two. Sorry, one E and a two, three E and a four. And just keep repeating it like that.